What's going on guys, Greek Freak here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the breaking news which is just broke, which is the Oklahoma City Thunder have now announced the fact that they will not bring Carmelo Anthony back after this summer. So depending on the two options that they really do have for Carmelo Anthony, which is a trade, which Carmelo ha Anthony has a no trade clause in his contract, so he'd have to open himself up for a trade. And therefore, it would stop a team from 100% being gutted or anything like that, which I don't think would happen with Carmelo's trade value, or it would be a buyout. Now, before I get deep into this video, I want to remind you guys that since this is the off season, to in order to be updated on all my videos, to make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon. That bell icon will notify you of all my videos as soon as I upload since it will be a random schedule for videos just like this one where it just has come out as the breaking news. But as has been mentioned the Oklahoma City Thunder have obviously we could see this very much happening and coming into fruition here because of the fact that Carmine Anthony is getting this high-end contract and the fact he's not willing to even come off the bench he said so you don't want somebody who's going to be a bad influence as far as in the locker room media wise with the teammates and it actually will save the Oklahoma City Thunder $100,000 if they can get rid of Carmelo Anthony because of the fact that they are going to be repeat offenders on the luxury tax. Now of course it obviously makes sense that they did not want Paul George to go away as he had resigned as I mentioned in previous videos and always to be seen but Carmelo Anthony obviously was not going to get rid of that money, like I've mentioned in a previous video as well, that it's a lot of money for him, and we know the fact this is probably his last big payday as far as that goes. So teams that I think would be willing to get him would probably be the Los Angeles Lakers, the Miami Heat, um, probably maybe the Houston Rockets, depending on how they would receive him, which would... So the only way that he would want to be able to go to the two teams would probably be either a buyout between the Lakers and the Houston Rockets. The Miami Heat would maybe be willing to make a trade for maybe some small parts or something, but other than that, I don't really see a major trade coming up. Like I said, most likely this will be a buyout situation, and I imagine that out of the other options, they'll probably get him for the Los Angeles Lakers since I don't think the fact there's much expectations on a team such as that. But um, negative effects that I think he could have on a team as far as the Los Angeles Lakers is the fact is lack of defense. Once again, the chemistry issue would be maybe a reason they don't get him. Uh, he obviously said he does not want to come off the bench, and I don't see the fact that he wants younger players really going above him. And I'm not sure how great of a fit it will be if he goes there as a starter, taking up lots of shots as well. But, guys... Tell me what your guys' thoughts are on Carmelo Anthony leaving the Oklahoma City Thunder. How do you think he will leave? Where do you think he'll end up? And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to become part of the Greek Army today. And as always, this is Sparta.